Hi guys. Well, <laughs> why are you singing? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, see my face. You're welcome to my channel. My name is Twin Korujuba. I'm an Ontario based YouTuber. Uh, please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you get to know whenever I upload a new video. Today's video, I have my assistant here with me. My assistant. Yes, the <laughs> assistant Ontario based YouTuber. <laughs> I have my assistant Shima. here with me <laughs> and I have my husband here with me and it's always a pleasure when I bring you on this channel not when you feature on my vlogs but when I bring you for a proper sit down video so um thank you for being here of course um it's always a pleasure <laughs> and you know when I come I kill it kill it <laughs> okay okay yes okay that's true so guys it's been a while i i was on her channel it's been a while she uh even was consistent on this channel she took a break a one-year hiatus and she's back back with a bang ah. i'm here to add some <laughs> spice to the bang and you guys better uh keep the engagement going i'm yeah. here always um to support her and to share some really important uh, milestone in our journey in canada right yes yes so um july 6th we moved into this country we called home now uh, so this year is going to be our fifth anniversary relocating to canada from nigeria so and i've been sharing my journey you know following or you guys have been following on this channel vlogs and everything that's just basically me sharing my journey and experience um, as an immigrant here in Canada. So today we're going to be sharing our five years experience moving from Nigeria to Canada. When I say five years, it feels so surreal because it's just like, it feels like yesterday. It feels yeah, just like it yesterday. feels like yesterday. And <laughs> is it an experience? Quite an experience. Yes, it is an experience. Um, a lot of things have happened in these last five years. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, we're here we're still here we're still smiling and we're still happy and um give me the opportunity again i will make the move so this is us basically what they call life updates um is it life update <laughs> okay so we're just going to be sharing our journey um how the journey has been so far things you should learn or maybe one or two things someone that is trying to move make that move or someone that has been here for like a year or two, um, they could probably just learn from our, our experience and you know just take one or two things home. All right. So first of all, and even if you don't want to learn, that's fine. We are just sharing our exactly, experience, right? Exactly. So uh, I know there are tons of resources out, out there, there on yes. the internet people can learn from. Mm -hmm. uh, but as much as there are many resources your experience is unique exactly. your journey is unique ours is unique it, it is unique to us C there can never be another journey yeah. as ours and uh, as much as we are sharing if you can take some something out of it totally fine if you don't want to totally fine we are just exactly. putting it out there out just there. sharing what it has been like for us these past five years okay so in our previous video um i think when we when we did our three years anniversary we did a video like this we shared the reasons why we moved to canada and those reasons they are still valid still the same thing we moved here because we want to give our kids a better opportunity in life um we also moved here because we wanted a very quality good quality of life and also um for my career as a nurse my career cannot thrive in nigeria <laughs> yes are you sure yes but there are many thriving nurses in nigeria well if you have maybe i won't say i can't say for them but for me my career yeah so you've always of been course, you i've know, always oh, i've yeah. always wanted to you know have my experience out of nigeria practice as a nurse in another country yeah she, she had always wanted that i i was never really into uh the travel thing yeah uh, but something happened i think uh of course 2015 happened in nigeria and boo boo became the president <laughs> um and then of course after about two years we we knew uh he was taking us to where we know no 
uh, and then uh, I had my sister move here in 2017 and that became the the point the actual turning point in, yeah. in our decision to move here so uh yeah 2017 we made up our mind and we got here in 2018 and five years down canadian citizens proud we celebrated our first Can canada day as actual as citizens, citizens last yeah. week and uh it's all good it is a great place to have exactly um i remember when we were still dating then um i was still in nursing school and i'm like what is your plan? Because I'm not going to, if there's any future in this relationship, it can be here in Nigeria because I'm not staying here with you. And you, you were just like, yeah, hey, okay, let's see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. So right from the get go, I've never had interest in practicing as a nurse in Nigeria. Hence why I also appreciated the move. Like I really appreciate the fact that we left for me to thrive here in my career. You know what they say, happy wife. <laughs> happy life <laughs> of course you have to make sure you so when i when we um moved of course it was also a, another opportunity for you to also settle in your career even though you were doing well in nigeria right but i guess it, it is what it is and and i i know uh, there were a lot of people like me who believed in nigeria yes, like who had absolute faith course, that nigeria never, would be better that course. things would get better and you know the the fate of the populace would improve uh but you know it's also good to be realistic you know when when you, when you saw what was happening when we saw what was happening and the trajectory the country was going yeah. under uh the past president bubu we felt that it was time and opportunity i i think it, it was critical to our movement uh if we did not make the move when we did it would have been difficult uh, if we had stayed one more year, it would have been much more difficult for yeah. us to move here. Age-wise and... Everything. We, we came through express entry and you know what age does to that. And yeah. man, forget uh, straight out of candy. Man, don't be yeah, old. old man. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's just talk about the journey our journey so far yep. um it's been it's been a challenging one um we've also had other uh successes we've encountered you know the downtime and everything for me let me talk about my my journey you're also going to share your own journey so my journey so far so you mean like professional yeah journey, professional kind of. journey um it, it was bittersweet maybe okay i'll say it was bittersweet because the excitement of coming into canada to become a registered nurse and then the time you know the stress that came with it everything the emotional trauma and everything which i've also shared in a video i'm going to link that video somewhere in case you haven't watched that video i think i shared it in my in my last two posts or something so it was for me it wasn't easy one of the major challenges i encountered moving here was getting my license back to practice as a registered nurse so watch that video um, in case you're you know very much interested in my journey you can watch that video so for me i would say my career wise it, it took me time which was one of the things i didn't like i didn't appreciate moving to canada it made me hate you know coming to canada at a point i was considering moving to another country like i if i had my way or if it was just only me not with family i would have actually left canada a long time ago as at them but now things are a lot more easier now it's no longer the same um so that was a very challenging thing for me but all other people that are coming now it's no longer the same things are better so for you what would you say about your journey like i said i'm going to leave the link because i don't want to start you know going <laughs> rambling again and saying all that said in that video but for you what are you going to say about your journey meanwhile he is i think he is a hr professional so let's start with that so how can yeah, you tell about your journey my, my journey has also been very challenging career wise you know you you are doing so well in nigeria of course there's always room for improvement but at least you were in a good place i was in a good place and uh, you've read, you've researched, you have looked out for opportunities and you see that there were job opportunities. And of course, Canada always says they are looking for uh, professionals. professionals, right? Express entry was only because I was an HR professional. So you would think that um, opportunities would be falling on your lap once you step in here. 
<laughs> but oh boy, uh, was that the case? Um, no, it wasn't. So it, it was also challenging, and I think it is always challenging as an adult immigrant. It is, it's not, it's not, um, it's not an easy thing. Even though it's coming now, even though the process of qualifying or getting jobs is easier, mm -hmm. the journey itself, the the fact that you are leaving your home country in your late 20s in your 30s and some people in their 40s uh, that in itself is is a lot of uh, stress okay. uh, so for me uh yeah i came in gun blazing very confident very ready uh but then reality hit the the jobs were not forthcoming um uh, a lot of times you go through interviews and at the end of the day they tell you you are overqualified <laughs> and, and some other times they will tell you they were looking for uh, the almighty Canadian uh, experience. experience and to a large extent that is understandable for my field because uh, if you're going to practice as a human resources professional the expectation is uh, you would have some grasp of um, first of all the, the local labor legislation and um, the the culture because HR is largely about culture mm -hmm. uh, so if you don't know much about the culture of uh, people you want to uh, manage uh, then there is really room for improvement so those were some of the challenges I faced so the jobs we are not forthcoming but like um, everybody or most people know um, Obodoibo, like the bills don't wait. So you got to do what you got to do for the family. And for the fact that uh, when we first came, Twinkle could not walk. Chihazirim, our, our younger boy, months. was just four months old. Medo was uh, 20 months. So they were still very little. And again, there is no help. <laughs> we are all the help we had. So yeah. I had to go out there. I had to be out there. I did a, a lot of things, okay. which I think should be um we'll talk about it yeah we'll talk about that in another it, video. it would be a good topic just on its own yeah. the different things i did the different things you did uh before now yeah. but again my, my personal philosophy has always been what time <laughs> time exactly time, take care of it. <laughs> time I, I believe and it works out for me uh time takes care of everyone sometimes i get tired, i get tired walks of hearing that from you and praise yeah and is patient especially in canada uh you know in nigeria we say time no money time no money but man we don't know what that really means yeah. here time is actually money and um in the in the part of people who are you know looking up to god and uh, hoping to improve on their career get a good job get a, a better job mm -hmm. uh, even get to the level that we are in their home country uh provided you can beat your chest and say you are doing your best you are putting in the work yeah. just trust god and then wait exactly. right so uh, that was it for me time i believe takes care of everyone who walks and prays mm -hmm. and has it worked out for us now uh i can say yes right yes we can say yes it has worked out for us for some people you know some people got jobs from nigeria even before they moved there yeah. some people it took them one month some three months some two years it depends right but um i have progressively grown in my career yeah um but it was all part of the process and i think the process is as important and sometimes even more important than the result. So mm -hmm. we can sit back now and enjoy the result, but the process was critical to where we are. Mm -hmm. So I had challenges. I updated myself. I upgraded myself. I took some professional courses. I got the HR designations uh, that were necessary. I, I learned the legislation, the culture and everything. Uh, yet things didn't move on quickly as I wanted, but mm -hmm. we are here now. We are good now and we thank God and time came true for mm. us and okay. god definitely <laughs> okay so let me, i'm gonna ask you a question so um just like you mentioned some people even get jobs before coming so yeah. would you say that your background played a major role in the delay oh, what what do you mean background like you being a because there are 
kind of jobs that you know like now people are pushing this business analysis it and all those all those kind of jobs yeah like, there, there are see? jobs that um thrive anywhere there are jobs okay. that are beyond borders okay uh hr is not a beyond border kind of job mm -hmm. hr has to be local Mm -hmm. um, even though there are global HR practitioners, but really, if you are working for a Canadian company and you are going to be dealing with Canadian employees, the expectation okay. is you know Canadian legislation and yeah. you are able to uh, meet them at the level that they know, uh, which is where culture comes in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's good. Um, so me, for me, my process and everything was just because there was nothing I could do about it. That was how <laughs> it was supposed to be. So it was just for me to wear my garment of patience and, you know, wait and wait. And that was what happened. So mine is not about not having experience or background or anything. I just needed to follow the way things are done. And then COVID happened and, then and COVID, it also delayed yeah. the process yes, even further. COVID took like two years out of my process. So. But again, like COVID also opened exactly. like the, the doors of opportunity for Eddie later Lord. immigrants. So exactly. the people that came in here uh, since COVID, 2020, 21, 20, like, things be became much more easier. easier. And we, we give that to COVID. COVID was a huge Less endemic. It, it, was, it was bad, bad, bad. However, uh, yeah. it, it's also um, exposed um, what, we, what I will call the, the capitalist tendency or the capitalist belief that everybody has to be at work to work. Everybody has to be in the office to be productive. Yeah. Uh, all the bottlenecks, all the bureaucratic items that you have to go through to become a registered nurse, for instance, um, needed to happen. But COVID has exposed that and people know now that you can be more productive working from home than uh, from the office sometimes that yeah. human interaction is still necessary by the way but covid has opened new wave of opportunity for yeah. a lot of people especially those in tech but i think across the board each profession has uh, lost as a result of covid but has also gained yeah. from from covid yeah okay so now um what can you say that helped you to overcome these obstacles that you talked about like what can you say that really helped you to overcome all these obstacles for me nothing helped me <laughs> i do oh, not help COVID. you okay covid help of course the supports i need know if it's talking about support you played a huge part in that and till tomorrow i'm still very grateful because honestly Call me, it don't there's it don't <laughs> <laughs> there's no way i would have done it on my own okay and yeah I keep thanking you all the time. Thank you, baby. You don't thank me all the time, but I know you you, you thank me in your heart. Okay. So, <laughs> so for you, um, what are the things that maybe the strategies you use to overcome these obstacles or things that helped you out? Talking of strategies, I think for me it was more innate than whatever strategy I can, I can or I could uh, explore mm. I think personality comes to play I've always been someone that um, believes that things will get better what, what, what would I always tell you even from before we got married do you remember yes what okay you always say everything will be beautiful exactly so for me everything will be beautiful it doesn't matter how bad it is now it doesn't matter how good it is now it can always be better it will always get better provided you are working provided you if you believe in god provided you are looking up to him but you are doing your part so for me uh getting by all all those challenges was about first of all me believing that it will f it will be fine yeah. after the rain will come the sun after the night will come the morning and that in it and strong belief uh helped me uh move down and of course um developing myself improving myself um reaching out uh networking. creating professional profile on linkedin uh, networking 
like they say um you are as knowledgeable as the people in your network mm -hmm. and that was it for me I, I reached out deliberately intentionally uh and i i tried to get involved uh in our community there was this uh bias that people especially from nigeria would always have when we got here and that nigerians don't support themselves uh, nigerians they don't they hide collaborate they hide information and as much as um that may be true to some extent yeah because i was waiting for you to say it's not true to yeah. an extent it is true <laughs> to an extent it, it is true but it also boils down to to the, the yeah. people you have in your circle and exactly. what they know exactly of course there are a lot of things that uh, if i knew then uh, would have made our journey uh, easier. potentially uh, easier but again our experience is unique and um, w w while uh, it could be a better experience for some people it could also be a worse experience for others so on your experience on your journey do what you have to do trust the process and you know the sky will always be the starting point exactly so yeah five years later um we have our citizenship which is one of the major goals yeah that and plan b that they talk about yeah <laughs> so yeah that plan b will we used to talk about so yeah god has been faithful it's been a journey a beautiful one at that and uh jeremy can i was looking at J jeremy the other day he was just four months you know we we're struggling with him on the plane <laughs> But now, now he is five years five and four years, months. You know, five years and four months, and in all those, uh, it's always a journey we appreciate, we love, and we we are going to make the move again and again and again. So, what advice are you going to give someone out there that is still trying to make up their mind, or maybe they are just a year here, you know, struggling? or just they just need to see this video what advice are you going to tell them trust your process like the, the thing is um I, I don't know i'm not that person that will give you what will help you make up your mind mm -hmm. like your situation where you are in your life it has to come from within for it to make sense so you have to make that decision for us for me that decision was important and it is a decision we would make over and over again um of course uh, people who are younger unmarried is 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 easy to be to be reckless uh reckless in, in quotes it, it is easy to be selfish mm -hmm. uh, when there are other humans involved then you become more selfless uh yes the journey was primarily because uh, twinkle needed to be a nurse in uh in canada in the western world and but also meadow came jason came jeremy came and we were looking at nigeria as it were like what what are we going to leave these boys um it's not like nigeria is bad please don't don't get me wrong there are a lot of people doing great in nigeria but it, it's not the type of future we wanted for them uh so now we wanted an opportunity that will uh, help them compete globally and uh, get what we refer to luxury in nigeria but are actually things, basic basic things basic of, life. of life so um, that's why we are here so if you are if you are still thinking what you want to do please look in words and if it makes sense for you i know there are a lot of resources to look at and check uh, what pathway that will work for you for those who are here newly uh, you could be here one year two years six months and you are struggling um the, the thing is are you doing your best if you are doing your best then please continue to do your best there is only so much you can do to change the situ some situations and there's another thing i always say uh like when you have prayed why do you worry and prayer is not uh exclusive as you are praying you are also working right so you are doing your best you are improving yourself you are taking courses you are sending job applications you are doing what you want what you have to do to improve when you are doing that and you have prayed about it 
why do you worry especially about things you have no control over so that would be my my advice um, do not worry about things you can't change uh, accept your journey as your own uh, unique to you um, time takes care of everyone who walks and prays yeah stay positive um, stay true to yourself you know just maintain a positive mindset as well and build a network of um, people who have more information than you do yeah. uh, because I think that's also critical uh, because information here is everything knowledge is everything the more you know the more access you have to uh, it could be benefits it could be freebies uh, it could be so many things just build a network of good people around you and when it is time for you to pay it forward do it without complaints support the next person as well and help the community grow so guys that is it um this is just a short video just to share our five years experience here um life has been good like i said we've been ups and down but we are grateful we are growing we continue pushing 2018 is not the same with 2023 there has been a lot of improvement growth thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any beautiful comments you want to leave if you have there, any comments please whatever it, okay? beautiful bag we'll take it <laughs> but uh, also um <laughs> she she went on some necessary leave off youtube but mm. she's back now yeah. and uh, you guys have not been engaging as much as you were before why now <laughs> yeah? you guys should no, do better it's, now it's and if it is me that you want to come more <laughs> i'll be coming more but don't 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 remind me but oh uh, i'm happy to, to i'm happy to be here to support if there are any specific topics you yes, want okay now about. you know what i do i mean i mean human resources specifically uh, my career in Canada has somewhat pushed me towards employee relations. So I, I could say now um, I have specialized in employee relations, but still, of course, aware of the entire human resources um, portfolio because I, I started off as a human resources generally. So uh, if you have questions uh, around that, uh, while I'm not a coach or, uh, or a licensed um, motivational speaker whatever it is uh, that you could there could be a mix of family uh, fashion for for her and then maybe career uh, that you want us to talk about uh, I'm happy to to come back on yeah we'll, we'll be happy to have you back. but you have to push me you know I'll push you with kid <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for stopping All right, by thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed and yeah just leave a beautiful comment down there i'll be happy to read your comment okay she doesn't right. have thick bone i have thick bone leave all the comments <laughs> no i do again again all right, no, I'm just a family. I'm a soft babe, okay? Um, I don't like violence. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys.